Hey guys, it is Chandra, or back to me, uh, here on YouTube. Um, I am, if you're just joining my page, hello. I am a revision girl from, I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy um, in December, uh, New Year's Eve actually, of 2014. Um, and here we are six years later. Um, and I just had a revision to the Sadie procedure, um, which I can say I'm not mad at it so far. It's treating me pretty well. On this episode of Chandra Gets a Revision, as the world turns, um, we're going to talk about stalls, guys, stalls. So let me give you all my blah, blah stats, all that good stuff. Um, I uh, had a revision on September 28th of this year. So today is, sep is October 25th. No, October 27th. So it'll be a month um, coming up tomorrow. I'll be uh, four weeks out, I guess. Holy moly. Um... And so during my pre-op, I lost uh, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, which is great, right? Um, and lost a couple of pounds. Once I got home, everything was great up until, ooh, look at that, up until about day five. Sorry I'm being so generic, guys, but I mean, this is, I, uh, I don't mark anything down. On, when I first had my sleeve done, I was literally by the letter. I wrote everything down, and um, this time I'm just kind of guesstimating, but you get the idea, right? Um, so I lost a couple of pounds, like in the first five days, and then um, I hit a pound here, hit a pound there um, the second week. Week three came, and I hit a brick wall. I was eating everything I should be eating. I was um, drinking my amount of water that I was supposed to drink every day. I was taking all of my vitamins. Um, and I even incorporated a little bit of walking time in at that point. Nothing, you know, extravagant, but a little bit just to kind of get my blood flowing, right? Um, and I had a stall. Um, in fact, I, throughout that week, well, the past two weeks is when I've been stalled. Um, I even kind of went up a pound here and there. I'd go up a pound and I'd lose a pound and then I'd stay the same and not, uh, deviate, right? Just like stay, 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 stay. Um, and then go up a pound, then go down a pound. So it was really frustrating. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, I had several friends that I complained to and I was like, what am I doing wrong? What is going wrong? Um, and they, everybody said, right, stay the course, stay the course. Don't, don't do anything. You're doing everything right. Keep doing what you're doing. Guys, it, it's true. It sounds really cliche, right? Stay the course. Um, but it's true. So I didn't change anything. I was like, well, what can I do now? So the last two weeks, I've been just continuing to eat normally. In fact, um, I'm not telling anybody to do this. I'm just saying what may have kicked it off for me is I started eating a little more fat in my diet. So I was really, um, I was really careful in watching my carbs and stuff after surgery and everybody and even my doctor and my dietitian and everything said, listen, don't worry about the carbs right now. Don't worry about the calories right now. Your goal is to get your protein in and to get your liquids in. That's your goal. And I listened to them. I got my protein in and I got my liquids in and, but I was still kind of watching the carbs, keeping it under 30. And my doctor's like, stop that mess right now. Your goal is to be able to eat normally within the guidelines um, at the end of a couple of weeks. Revisions are different than original um, like sleeves and stuff like that. We can progress quicker than most. So this is just a heads up. Um, but my doctor was like, stop, you know, stop. Don't do that. So I was like, OK. So I ordered me some chicken wings 
and ate me some fried chicken wings. And uh, I, ha I have not been as cautious and it seems to be paying off a little bit. So, I mean, I'm not going overboard, guys. It's not like I'm sitting there diving into cookies and ice cream and I'm not doing that. Um, but I added a little more fat um, into my diet and I don't know if it kind of jump-started my body or what, but here I am. So now, where am I? I am four weeks out, going into my fifth week. Yeah, I'm going into my fifth week already. Um, and I am, I didn't think I was going to say this, so I didn't calculate the number. I am 37 pounds down from pre-op. So that's not too bad. Um, I'll take it. It's been 28 days ish and I'm down 37 pounds you can't knock that right so I don't hate my Sadie it's doing what it's supposed to be doing um do I wish it would be doing it quicker yes but am I happy yes so as long as it keeps going in that direction now and doesn't do this your girl's golden um let's talk about god I'm already at six and a half minutes you know what? I think I'm going to make another video next week. I was going to talk about all the TMI information because there's a lot at this point. Um, and, but you know what? I'll save that for another video. You guys um, are great. I don't know what I would do without you all. Um, if you don't uh, get my updates, you know what to do. Hit follow below. Um, for those of you on my Facebook pages, uh, hi. Guys, if uh, you're going through this procedure or thinking about going through the Sadie procedure, there is a page on uh, Facebook, and I'll, I'll put the link below, um, of a support group, which is amazing. People that are pre-op, post-op, in the middle of going through the Sadie procedure that has questions, answers. I mean, it's just a really good support group to have. Um, I've answered and asked a lot of questions and they've helped. So signing off from the freezing Austin, Texas, where it should not be this cold, but my nose is an iceberg. This is Chandra, aka Back to V, and we will see you next time. Bye guys.